Diagnostic Biosystems offers highlighter, automated slide stainer. Key features. Compact Benchtop 36 slide system. Fully automated from baking to counter stain. Consistent and crisp staining. Real-time onboard dab mixing. Liquid sensors for accurate reagent handling. Liquid sensors for waste disposal to prevent overflow. Slide data matrix code labeling and reading. RFID reader for reagents vials, identifies and controls reagent consumption and expiration dates. Maintenance is the key to longevity. Preventive maintenance is very important and so many people just neglect it, typically people react after they see a problem. Daily maintenance. The modules should be cleaned routinely, recommended after every run, to prevent the buildup of salt and reagent residues. Unload all slides from the system. Remove the chambers from the modules and set aside in tap water for cleaning later. Do not use deionized water as it may damage the chambers. Use a soft paper towel to wipe the surface of the heater and around the inner edge of the slip holder. Insert the paper towel into the hinge to absorb any excess liquid remaining after the run. Use an alcohol swab to wipe away any remaining reagent residues. The chambers should be cleaned routinely, recommended after every run, to remove staining residues that could negatively affect the next staining quality. Soak the chambers in 1% bleach for about 15 to 20 minutes, stirring occasionally. Note: The user may dilute regular bottled bleach less than 6% for brightening whitening or removing stains to 1% concentration. Do not soak in bleach for more than 20 minutes, as it can damage the longevity of the chamber gaskets. Wipe the chamber surface if necessary to remove any remaining dab residues. Rinse the chambers in at least 8 changes of running tap water then soak in a large volume of water to ensure that all residual bleach is removed. Allow the chambers to air dry before use. Use alcohol swab to wipe the chamber surface. Carefully inspect the chambers and replace any chambers that exhibit wear to the gasket or cracks, damage to the chamber surface. Inspect tubing and pump syringes for leakage or a severe buildup of salt. Contact Diagnostic Biosystem support to schedule a maintenance visit, if needed. Weekly Maintenance The modules and deck plate should be cleaned and inspected routinely to maintain proper function. Use a damp paper towel to wipe away any salt deposits that have accumulated on the module surfaces. The user may pipette distilled water and or alcohol into the hinge slot to dissolve any crystallized salt deposits. The user may use a small tool such as a paper clip to remove any debris or glass fragments that are obstructing the hinge slot and preventing the slides from inserting properly. Use a soft paper towel to absorb any excess liquid that has accumulated in the grooves of the deck plate. Perform a module and heater function check. This should be performed after receiving a temperature, module malfunction warning. Refer to check for module malfunction for more information. The waste stations and probes should be cleaned routinely to prevent salt obstructions. Use an alcohol swab to wipe away any reagent residues and salt deposits that have accumulated on the surface of the wash stations and probes. Inspect the percolation holes on the wash station and clean with a cotton Q-tip and alcohol if needed. Take care not to bend the probes, verify the alignment of the Z1 and Z2 probes if needed. The tubing and pumps should be primed with distilled water if the instrument is to be left idle for a prolonged time, such as on long weekends or holidays. Fill the buffer container with a small volume of distilled water and connect it to the tubing. Click System Utilities, Tools, Prime Z1 and Z2 to prime the pumps and tubing several times. Monthly Maintenance The chambers should be inspected routinely and replaced as needed estimated after every 50 runs. The tubing should be inspected and cleaned routinely, recommended after every 500 slides, to prevent buildup of reagent residues. An obstruction in the tubing line may cause inconsistent, negative staining results and premature wear on the pumps. Ensure that the buffer container is filled and connected to the tubing. Load the reagent rack with cleaning solutions for Z1 and Z2 in the designated positions. Click System Utilities, Tools, Tubing Clean to initiate tubing clean. 
refer to clean Z1, Z2 tubing for more details. Clean tubing as frequently as needed. Visually inspect the tubing for buildup of wax deposits or dab, hematoxylin precipitate. The robotic arm should be inspected routinely to maintain proper function. Click System Utilities SP1Z1 Calibration and SP1Z2 Calibration to verify the alignment of the Z1 and Z2 probes. Verify that the robotic arm is operating smoothly. The C drive DBS folder should be backed up routinely onto a flash drive external device. System calibration may be performed by a trained service technician if the probe becomes severely bent. Contact your local diagnostic biosystem service representative for more information.